I'm Dr. Ali Matu. Can psychology help you keep your New Year's resolutions? Yes, I can, with a little help from Harry Potter. Akio, the sex show! The research indicates about 50% of you watching this video right now are starting a New Year's resolution. Psychologists wondered, are people actually able to keep New Year's resolutions? And if they can, what helps them to do so? Doctors John Norcross and Dominic Vangarelli tracked 200 people who started a New Year's resolution and followed them for a two-year period. What did they find? 77% maintained their New Year's resolution for a one-week period of time. 55% maintained their goal for one month. 40% maintained for six months. And then 19% maintained their goals for two years. Years. The psychologists involved in the study uncovered a lot about why people were able to stick to their New Year's resolution. And the results are pretty consistent with what we know from other psychological studies. They're also consistent with one of my favorite stories. Eripada. Here's what you need to know to become a successful New Year's resolver in 2015. Number one. Create measurable goals. What are some of the most common New Year's resolutions? I'm gonna get back in shape. I'm gonna stop wasting so much money. I'm gonna be a better friend. Based on everything we know in psychology, these goals are doomed to fail. Vanakadama. The trick is creating a goal that you can very easily measure. Turn, I'm gonna get back in shape into, I'm gonna exercise for 30 minutes on the weekends. Stop wasting money becomes, I'm gonna transfer $25 from every paycheck into my savings account. Make the goal of returning text messages from your close friends and family the same day you get it. How's this related to Harry Potter? For the 0.05% of you who don't know who Harry Potter is, he's a boy who lived despite a devastating attack from an evil wizard known as Voldemort. Harry learns along the way that he's the only wizard in the whole world that has a chance of defeating Voldemort. Defeating Voldemort becomes Harry's only goal. So does Harry say things like, This year I shall study wholeheartedly the defense against the Dark Arts. No, he makes a specific and measurable goal. Defeat Voldemort. Harry spends a lot of time studying how to achieve this goal. Harry discovers that he needs to collect three Deathly Hallows. Once he's got this plan and he's discovered this information, Harry's goal becomes find three Deathly Hallows. Harry's goal is specific, it's measurable, and it's realistic. Well, not realistic for you and me because we're muggles, but... If you're the boy who lived, they're realistic. Number two, change your environment. In the short term, the most helpful skill that you have to achieve your New Year's resolution is something psychologists call stimulus control. All stimulus control means is there's something in the environment that changes behavior. The light turns red and you stop your car. You always forget to take out the trash, so you move it right in front of your door. You get a notification on your phone and then you check the message. When I was trying to cut down my ice cream intake, I went from eating out of bowls like this to eating out of bowls like this. Stimulus control. Trying to go to the gym more often? Take your gym bag with you to class or to work as a reminder of going to the gym. Want to save more money? Create a reminder on your calendar to deposit $25 every time you get a new paycheck. Harry Potter used stimulus control as well to help him achieve the goal of defeating Voldemort. He changed the environment by leaving Hogwarts and going camping in the wilderness with his friends. Because that's stimulus control. I'm not advocating for you to drop out of school to achieve your New Year's resolution. But I do want you to create an environment that's going to make it much more likely for you to achieve your goals. Number three, commit to friends. So if stimulus control helps in the short term, what helps people maintain their goals over a period of years? Friends and family. You're a whole lot more likely to achieve your goal if you've told a few close friends about it. They'll give you encouragement along the way and help you to figure out how to get around obstacles that might come up. Harry Potter had no chance of collecting the Deathly Hollows without the support of Ron and Hermione. The two of them were instrumental in helping Harry to move forward when he wanted to give up. Harry also literally couldn't do it without them because he needed someone to become Bellatrix using that Polyjuice potion when they were trying to break into Gringotts. Sorry, I just had to geek out there for a second because that's an awesome scene both in the book and the movie because there's this cool dragon thing that happens. Hear that, Game of Thrones? Dragons are awesome. Give us more dragons. Share your goal with a few close friends and let them know how it's going from time to time. Number four, 
embrace setbacks. Remember that 19% of people who maintained their New Year's resolutions over a period of two years? Those individuals experienced 14 major setbacks in sticking to their goals. Something's gonna come up that's gonna make it hard for you to stick to your goal. That's called being human. I love telling my patients that setbacks give us data about what's working and what's not working. As long as we learn from that information, they're not really setbacks at all. You think Harry Potter was perfectly committed to defeating Voldemort? Remember this moment from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? I've seen enough. I want out. I want it to end. I don't care anymore. And now you know why I'm a psychologist and not an actor. So let's put it all together. Create measurable goals, change your environment, commit to friends, and embrace setbacks. To learn more about the science of behavior change, check out Changeology by Dr. John Norcross. What are you hoping to change in 2015? Let me know in the comments below. Click on my Phoenix Core wand to subscribe and get more geeky psychology. Expecto Patronum!